Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tofu here bringing you another Minecraft World War II aircraft tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Yonkers JU-287. The Yonkers JU-287 was an aerodynamic test bed built in Nazi Germany to develop the technology required for a multi-engine jet bomber. It was powered by four Yonkers Jumo 004 engines, featured a novel forward swept wing, and apart from the wing was assembled largely from components salvaged from other aircraft. It was one of the very few jet propelled aircraft to have been built with fixed landing gear. The JU-287 is a very unique aircraft for the time period. Obviously, Nazi Germany was kind of the pioneers of the um, jet aircraft, and their designs really influenced a lot of the modern aircraft that we even have today. Um, but it's a f interesting uh, time where they had some really unique designs here, and the JU-287 is, is no stranger to that. It has a very unique forward swept wings, which we'll take a little bit of a deeper look at here in a second, um, which I really only have seen on air, on a few aircraft, um, mainly the SU-47 as kind of the main, I guess, uh, technology demonstrator of the forward swept wings. Obviously, they're not a very popular design choice for uh, many aircraft, but, you know, it's still a really cool and interesting design here. Um, but yeah, it's a cool bomber. Um, should be kind of a fun build to add if you're looking for some kind of like alternate uh, type of timeline bomber or just some cool kind of prototype or random build to throw into your worlds. Um, but before we go ahead and jump into this build, I do want to go ahead and give a special link to Patreon support Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. There's a link always in my video descriptions where you can go ahead and head over and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request of your choosing per month of your patron. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and is obviously really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out and get links for that is going to always be in the video description. With that though, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the Yonkers JU-287. So getting started with, we have the uh, fuselage with the aircraft, which is um, a pretty standard German fuselage. I mean, what can you really say? It's uh, just a long kind of cylinder tube, um, has the kind of glass domed front cockpit section, very typical. And we then have the vertical and horizontal stabilizers there. Um, pretty cool stuff all around. Now, uh, the wings here are going to be the main kind of unique feature of this build, basically being these forward swept wing type designs, which is Again, a very uncommon design for many aircraft, and especially at that time, it was uh, very unique to it. These forward swept wings also have a very big um, kind of uh, incline to them or slant, which uh, again is super interesting and very unique in terms of its design. Uh, we then have the jet engines here, which are located two on the wings, so one on each side, and then we have two actually mounted on the sides of the forward fuselage, which is, again, kind of a cool, I, I guess, design, something a little bit different. Um, some models I did see did actually feature these um, extra rocket boosters. Um, I imagine probably maybe to get this thing, you know, take, taken off in, like, quick... Um, in, in short, runway takeoff scenarios or something of that kind of sort, but I did see some pictures with it, so I thought I would throw them on there. It kind of looks cool uh, for the aircraft. And this aircraft is also unique in the fact that it's one of the only jet aircraft really to actually have fixed landing gear. So that's right, the landing gear is actually fixed and it does not actually retract, which again is super unique and kind of unheard of for uh, most jet aircraft. Uh, but overall, really cool, interesting design. Should again be a fun build to add in if you're looking for some cool kind of... Um, you know, alternative uh, type of, you know, uh, World War II type of uh, aircraft. But uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our first uh, layer here, we're going to be going ahead and starting off with layer five. Now, we're starting off with layer five because it gives us a kind of better basis to kind of add on to. So that is why we're going to be going ahead and starting with this layer and um, all that. Anyways, though, with that all kind of squared away, let's go ahead and get started with this. Now, a few things I do want to go ahead and mention here is that if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to start these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means, I'm going to be building the entire center line of the aircraft on camera, as well as the right side. It'll be up to you guys to take the right side and copy it over to the left side. This aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side will be on the other side, except for one thing um, on the wings, and we'll talk about that a little bit further once we get into that area um, a little bit later. Um, with that though, if you do want to build this aircraft landed, you will need to make sure that layer 5 here sits 5 blocks up from the ground level. So we can take some placeholder blocks here and we can go ahead and see here that we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, blocks of space between the ground and layer 5. So very important to make sure that's correct. Um, obviously if 
that is all good to go and you want to build it landed, then make sure that's correct. And if you want to build this in flight, obviously you can build this however high you want and all that. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a narrow brick up sound stair followed by a black stained glass block right behind it. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of smooth quartz that's going to go all the way down the center here of our aircraft for a total of 21 blocks. If you're a Java player, we can go ahead and then place down two pistons that are going to be upside down like so. If you're not on Java and don't have access to this tool called the debug stick, then we will be going ahead and instead placing down a um, quartz full block and a quartz top sub instead. So again, you can either place down the two pistons for Java players or a quartz full block and top sub as an alternative. We're going to go ahead and place down two quartz top subs and two iron trapdoors going back. After that's done, we're going to place down two iron trapdoors here at the side. And we then want to go ahead and place down two quartz top slabs going forward like so. We're going to go ahead and take quartz stairs. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 quartz up down stairs uh, like so. And then we want to go ahead and place down a continue row. So we have our row of quartz up down stairs so far, 13. It's going to go ahead and go 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 quartz full blocks or quartz up sound stairs going forward. Then out to the side of the third stair from the front, we're gonna place down a quartz up sound stair like this. And this is gonna go back, we have one, and then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, quartz up sound stairs going back like that. Now after that, uh, we wanna go ahead and then place down a uh, block of another right, coming off this block here, with our skeleton skull going forward, and then we're gonna take our green terracotta and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, green terracotta, a block of another right, and a wither skeleton skull. We will then take our dark oak trap doors. We're going to place down one, two, close them like so, and same thing over here, one, two, and close them here. Then after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then take our green stained glass panes. We're going to go ahead and place down two panes, two walls, and two glass panes like that going forward. And then lastly here on the front, a dark oak trap door coming off the side here of this uh, wither skeleton skull. So it's going to look like that. And then also on both sides of this narrow brick up sound stair, we are going to place down a wither skeleton skull. With that all complete, we're going to go ahead and then move to our engines here. Now, the best way to kind of set up these engines here is to be going ahead and going off of this trap door here from our kind of engines on the inside here. We're going to go, ahead and go one, two, and three, and four blocks out to the side. And then we're going to go, ahead and go one, two, three, and four back. So again, we're going to go, ahead and go to this trap door here, one, two, three, out to the side like so or rather, sorry, actually four. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back. One, two, three, and four. On this fourth block, or after the fourth block here, we're gonna place down a block of netherite. And we then wanna go ahead and delete this, this block here, and then we're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull. Now on the sides of the wither skeleton skull, we're gonna place down dark oak trap doors. So one here, and one right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, then place down a green stingless paint on both sides of the block of netherite. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then take our green terracotta, and we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five green terracotta blocks, and then a block of netherite, and then a wither skeleton skull. We'll take our trap doors, place two on the sides here, and we're going to go ahead and then place down two green stained glass panes forward, and two here, and then after that, we'll take our mossy cobblestone walls and place down one, two, and over here, same thing, one, two. So it'll look just like that. And after we have that all done there, we're going to go ahead and then just delete our blocks. Just like this. And we can go ahead and finish this off by going ahead and placing down a birchwood fence gate here, which will open up toward the outside like so, or toward the engine. And then we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on the inside here. And once you have that all done, that is going to wrap up everything we have here for layer number five for the build. Taking a look at it from the top down view, this is what we should have uh, looking down upon it. And at this point in time, that's going to finish off that layer, and we'll go ahead and move down to layers one and four. All right, guys, so moving into our first uh, and or layers one through four, um, is what I should say. Uh, we're going to be mainly kind of focusing in on the landing gear and just a little bit to do with our bottom of our jet engines, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom of the second and third stairs, of course, uh, up down stairs from the front. We're going to place down two monster cobblestone walls, a birchwood fence post that comes down here, green terracotta block, and then one more block back from it. We then want to go ahead and place down a piston like this, and then going back from the piston, we're going to place down a zombie head. On the sides of the green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down trap doors, wrap them around like so, and then we're going to place down two polished black stone up downstairs, back to back underneath those 
green terracotta blocks. On the outside here of the pistons, um, we can go ahead and grab a dark oak wood fence post, or sorry, rather fence gate, and we can place it down on the side of the piston, like so. In addition, if you are not on Java, you can actually go ahead and use end portal frames instead of the uh, piston, as the end portal frames will work in this situation. So you can go ahead and add those on if you want to. Also, uh, one thing we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and use our debug stick. This can be attained on Java by typing the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. It'll be this command here. Press and enter will get the, this glowing stick. And we're going to go ahead and just go to the piston here. We're going to left click it until we get selected extended false. And then we'll right click it, set it to true, and we'll get rid of that wood portion. And make sure you kind of keep this um, kind of around or easily accessible because you will be using this later on in the build. Um, anyways though, on the front here, we're going to go ahead and then place down two blocks that kind of come forward here, and this is going to be mainly only a Java feature. We're going to place down a lever here and a lever on top here. We're going to flick this top lever down so it connects up to this lever. And then using our debug stick here, we're going to left click this till we get selected facing. We'll shift or we'll crouch and we'll right click and we'll rotate this to come off of the fence post. So it's going to look at that and they're going to kind of come down and connect to each other. Now, after that is done there, we want to go ahead and then place down a dark wood trap door underneath this wither skeleton skull. And then we're going to go back with one, two, three, four, five, and six smooth quartz uh, slabs back, and then one and two iron trap doors. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then place down a end rod that's going to come down or be on the side of both sides here of the second quartz slab. And then grabbing our birchwood fence gates, we're going to place down a fence gate right after it, which is going to be opened up toward the quartz slabs. Then another end rod that's going to come down on both sides, like so. Now on the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and grab some polished andesite, some andesite walls, some skeleton skulls, some smooth quartz, some pistons, and again, some polished andesite slabs here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down a polished andesite full block coming down from this slab here, and then one more full block forward, and then a quartz stair. On the bottom of this, we're going to place down a quartz ups down stair, two polished andesite full blocks. To the sides of the polished andesite full blocks, we're going to place down andesite walls, and then we're going to take skeleton skulls and place them on the sides here of the quartz stairs. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a piston that's going to be here, and a piston going down like this. We're going to go ahead and place down two slabs like that, and then skeleton skulls on the side here of the pistons, like so. Using our debug stick here, we're going to go ahead and right-click and get rid of that wood portion. An alternative to those pistons would be to probably use polished andesite stairs, with the stair kind of going this way here, and an ups and down stair going that way. Um, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and move to our outer engines, and for these outer engines, we're going to go ahead and kind of do what we did for the inside ones. So we'll place down a dark liquid trapdoor on the bottom of that wither skeleton skull. Then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five quartz slabs back and then two iron trap doors to go ahead and finish the bottom of the engine. Then we have our um, landing gear for the back here which we're going to need a birchwood fence post, a dark oak wood stair, a fence gate, um, some dark oak wood trap doors, some green terracotta, and then a zombie head. And for this pretty simple we're going to place down a fence post that's going to come down from this wall here, a fence gate coming off of it to the side which will open the fence gate toward the fence post. And then we're going to place down a dark liquid stair on the bottom of the fence post with a green terracotta block behind it. Two green terracotta blocks on the bottom of the stair and the full block. And then another block back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark liquid slab, a green terracotta block, and then a zombie head like so. We'll then take our dark liquid trap doors and we're just going to go ahead and wrap them around the green terracotta blocks like this. And we're also going to go ahead and place down a block here, or a trap door. Um, on the very back here like this and lastly we'll grab some polished blackstone and we're gonna place down two stairs like that and after that is all done there that is going to wrap up what we have for layers one through four you'll take the same design copied over to the other side obviously and once you have both sides copied over you have those layers complete anyways let's move on up to layer number six i guess going ahead moving into our uh Next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six, we're gonna go ahead and place down a black stained glass block here, and then another brick up sound stair come off that block like that. We're gonna go then go back from the black stained glass with a row of green terracotta going all the way down the center here for a total of 24 blocks, which will then go ahead and take smooth quartz, and we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of smooth quartz back from that and going a row of six. We'll then place down two upside down pistons. Again, an alternative to the pistons can be a quartz full block and a quartz top slam. 
And then we're going to place down two quartz top slabs and an iron trap door to round off our center line. To the sides, we're going to place down two skeleton schools like so. And then we're going to go ahead and take our quartz stairs and we're going to place down two smooth quartz upside down stairs. We'll then place down one and two smooth quartz blocks, followed by a block of black concrete, another smooth quartz block, and then we're going to take our green concrete and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 green terracotta blocks forward. And I'm going to go and just double check my count here, and it is going to be 24 blocks in total. We're going to go then place down a black stained glass block here in the front, and again a wither skeleton skull on both sides of this narrow brick stair. To the sides, we're going to place down a black stained glass pane, and then a green stained glass pane after that. We'll then take our mossy cobblestone walls and build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mossy cobblestone walls back. At this point in time, we're going to go ahead and switch to our quartz uh, full blocks here, uh, which we will be using for part of the wing construction here and um, where we kind of start to dive into these wings, which really aren't too complicated, but they can be um, a little tricky. So just make sure you're paying close attention here. Uh, let's go ahead and get started though. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six smooth quartz blocks and yep, six smooth quartz blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and follow this up with a smooth quartz upside down stair, two green stained glass panes, and then lastly a white stained glass pane right here. Now, after that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of four of smooth quartz blocks. So we're going to go ahead and go to the front here. We're going to place down a quartz top slab and then one, two, three, four. After that, we're going to place down two more quartz top slabs back and then a iron trap door, like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a quartz top slab up here in the front, which will be followed with a row of three of smooth quartz blocks, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three quartz top slabs and then an iron trap door. Our next uh, row here is going to be a quartz top slab, like so, and then we're going to go two quartz full blocks back, so one, two, and then again, one, two, three quartz top slabs and then an iron trap door. Our next uh, row here, rather actually a uh, quick addition, uh, addition or correction here is we're gonna go ahead and also place down a top slab going forward on this outer row. After that is all done, we're gonna go ahead and take our quartz slabs and we wanna go ahead and very simply just place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six quartz top slabs and then an iron trap door. We're gonna go ahead and place down an iron trap door here, one going forward, one going back, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate here and open it up toward that slab there. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three iron trap doors back from it. After that, we're going to place down two iron trap doors right here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, daylight detector, which will be in this space here. And if these trap doors do open, you may have to go ahead and use birchwood trap doors as an alternative, or you can go ahead and use your debug stick here to go ahead and left click these selected open, and we'll go ahead and right click these, set these to false, and kind of manually reset them. Then taking our mossy cobblestone walls, we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, going down the center here, which will be followed with a dark oak wood slab. So dark oak wood slab, a daylight detector, and then a dark oak wood trap door, which will be closed like that. Then we're going to go and take our iron trap doors. We're going to do a row of one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing here where you can go ahead and right click this with our debug stick to edit it or replace that with a birchwood trap door. Or you can also very simply turn this trap door to the night mode. But I do think when we put the layer on top of this, it will um, cause this to activate. So you may want to leave it on day mode and the trap doors actually may close for you as well. So just keep that in mind, um, but just make sure to check on that a little bit later on in the build. Uh, next thing also is the top here of the outer kind of fuel pods, or I say fuel pods, but the rocket pod or jets on the side here. This is going to be a, started with a trap door here, a uh, daylight detector, a dark oak slab. We'll make sure we close that trap door. Then we want to go ahead and place our piston. We're going to place down two pistons back, then two dark oak slabs back, and then a daylight detector and a dark oak trap door, which will stay closed. After we have uh, that all done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down two dark oak signs, come off the sides here of these pistons, and then we're very simply, we'll just right click them with our debug stick, and again, these pistons can be swapped out for end portal frames if you want to. Anyways, though, that right there is going to finish everything we have for layer 5, or rather, sorry, actually layer 6. Taking a look at it from the top-down view, this is what we have so far, as you can see, the aircraft is starting to come together, and we'll be going ahead and now moving on to our next layer, which will be layer number 7. Moving into our next layer here, we have layer number 
7. For layer 7, you go ahead and get started with here. We're going to place down a black stained glass pane on top of this narrow brick stair here, and then we're going to place down 1, 2, 3 black stained glass blocks back from it. We then want to go ahead and grab our uh, green terracotta. We're going to place down a long row down the center here for a total of 33 blocks. A dark oak would upstairs on stair on the back here on both sides of the stair. We're going to place down a zombie head. We're going to go forward 1 and 2 green stained glass panes, and then 1 and 2 mossy cobblestone walls. We'll then take our green terracotta, go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, then switch to our black concrete, 1, 2, 3, and then our green terracotta, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 green terracotta blocks forward. We'll then place down 1, 2, 3, black stained glass blocks forward, black stained glass pane here, 1, 2 panes here, and then we're going to place down a black stained glass block here. We're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Mossy cobblestone walls back. And then 1, 2, 3, green stained glass panes. 1, 2, 3, black stained glass panes. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4 iron trap doors located along the side here. We'll place down another row of 4. And then we're going to place down 1, 2, 3. Then 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, and then we're going to go ahead and go 1, 2, and 1, 2. So just like that, and your horizontal stabilizers will look just like that. Now, after we have that all done, we then want to go ahead and start work here on our wings for this section. So for our wings here, we're going to go ahead and begin with by placing down two daylight detectors here, a daylight detector here, and a dark oakwood slab, and then a narrow dark oakwood slab like that. Now, going back from this slab here, we're going to go ahead and place down four pistons. So one, two, three, four. These can also be substituted out for the end portal frames. And then two dark oakwood slabs. Our next row here is going to be a uh, row of two pistons, so one, two. And we're going to place down two dark oakwood slabs, two daily detectors like that. Now, this daily detector here will cause this iron trap door to open. Again, you can use the birchwood tra trap door technique or use your debug stick there to close it. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three of dark oakwood slabs, then two daily detectors, and then we're going to go ahead and grab our trap doors here. And we're going to place down two trap doors back. Then our next row, uh, we're going to place down two dark oakwood slabs, then two daylight detectors, and then two dark oakwood trap doors like that going back, as well as a green carpet. We're going to then place down two green carpets here, two daylight detectors, another, or sorry, two dark oakwood trap doors, another daylight detector there, and then two dark oakwood slabs. And after that is done there, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our smooth quartz and also some stairs here. We're going to take our smooth quartz blocks and our green terracotta. We're going to place down a green terracotta block here, as well as two smooth quartz blocks back from it. And then a green terracotta block right here, which will be followed with a piston. And then we're going to place down two dark oakwood slabs. Our next row is going to be a smooth quartz full block, followed by a second, third, fourth, and... Uh, yeah, fourth block, and then we're going to place down a green terracotta, and then one dark oakwood slab on the end here. This next row here is going to be a quartz top slab, then one, two quartz ups and downstairs, and then two quartz top slabs back from that, like so. Then after that, our next row is going to be one, two, three, four quartz top slabs, and actually it's going to go one forward, so you have a total of five there. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat the same row again, so another row of five of top slabs. After that is done there, we want to go ahead and then grab our iron trap doors, and we're going to place down our iron trap door here, and then one, two, three, and then we're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, three iron trap doors. So it's going to look just like that there for the wing tips. And after you have that done, that's going to pretty much finish those off. Looking at from the bottom here, this is what it should look like so far for the wings. We'll also go ahead and at this time take our debug stick, and we will go ahead and right click these pistons to go ahead and set them. Uh, like so, and finalize those designs. But with that, that is going to wrap up everything there is there for layer 7, and with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number 8. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer here, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and begin with by placing on a narrow brick stair on top of this block here, and then we're going to go ahead and go back from it with three black stained glass blocks. We're going to go ahead and then run a row of green terracotta down the center of the aircraft for a total of 32, a dark oakwood stair on the back here, and then a zombie head to the side of the stair. We're going to then place down one, two, three, four green stained glass panes forward, one, two, three, four dark oakwood stairs, a smooth quartz stair, a polished black stone stair, and a smooth quartz stair. 
we'll then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Dark Oak stairs forward, 1, 2, 3, Nether Brick stairs, and then a Wither Skeleton Skull on both sides of that um, stair there in the front. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go back here to our horizontal stabilizer, and we're going to go ahead and basically add on to this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place down two daylight detectors here, and then we want to place down two dark oak slabs, and then three daylight detectors, then three dark oak slabs, and then four daylight detectors, and then a row of daylight detectors all the way across the trailing edge here. You will need to take a debug stick here and close your trap doors, or you can go ahead and use the technique I talked about earlier using birchwood trap doors as an alternative. But basically we'll do this here for this whole bottom section and also for these pistons down here make sure you also use your debug stick on them as well as these ones here if you have yet already and just notice those um with that done though we're gonna go ahead and then move our attention now into the wing section here so the wing section we're gonna go ahead and kind of continue to build upon uh something that we kind of started in the previous uh layer here so for this, we're going to go ahead and start off with grabbing our green carpet. We're going to place down two green carpets here. And then we're going to take our dark oak with trapdoors and place down three. And then one green carpet here. We then want to go ahead and place down dark oak trapdoor here. Two daylight detectors. And then two more dark oak trapdoors going back. Um, or rather, actually, sorry, it's going to be uh, rather... So I just realized I made one mistake here, and this is going to be changing just a little bit, not doing not a whole lot of the build. Um, it's a really simple uh, fix, but it's going to be a quartz top slab right here. So right after that quartz full block, there's going to be another top slab that we're going to go ahead and add on there. We're going to move this dark oak with trapdoor forward, and then we're going to have our two daylight detectors like so, and then we're going to have our two dark oak with trapdoors, and then a green carpet here on the ends. So just make sure you go ahead and make that change. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a daylight detector here in the front, then a dark oak with slab. And then we're going to go and go two daylight detectors back, as well as a dark oak with trapdoor, like that, closed. Our next row is going to be a row of three of dark oak with slabs. So one, two, three, a daylight detector, and then dark oak with trapdoor, which will set closed. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak with slab here, two pistons. And after those two pistons there, we're going to go ahead and place down another dark oak with slab. After we have that done, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down two, and another piston right here in that location. Now we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves our quartz and we're going to place down a quartz uh, full block that is going to come off this green terracotta block as well as a quartz ups and down stair. Going back from this we're going to place down another quartz ups and down stair, this one facing a different direction and then a quartz top slab going back from that. We'll then take our quartz top slabs and we're going to place down a row of four, so one, two, three, and four. And after that row of four there we're going to go ahead and then place down one, two. After that, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves an iron trap door. We're going to place down an iron trap door in this spot right here. And we then want to go ahead and grab our iron trap doors. And we're going to place down a row of four. So it's going to stick one forward. And then we're going to go do a row of three. So one, two, three. After that is complete, we want to go ahead and then um, take our debug stick. And we'll just go ahead and right click those pistons. Again, those can be replaced with end portal frames as an alternative. And then over here on the other side, the left side of the aircraft as well, um, there is going to be one difference in coming off this, it's going to be coming off this quartz up sound stair here. This one difference is we have three end rods and then a birchwood fence gate that is rotated and opened up toward those end rods sticking like that. So it's going to be on the left side there and the left side only. Um, and basically once you have that all done, this is what it should look like from the top down view. Now also one thing I did forget to mention in the previous layer was going to be the addition of some letters and numbering on the side of the aircraft. You guys can go ahead and you choose whatever four banners and numbers you guys want. For me I just did T1AC, it doesn't really represent anything in particular. Um, you can look at pictures of the real life model and copy those if you want to as well. But very simply we're going to go ahead and place down our first two banners here and then our second two here. So you want to read left to right, so on the left side we have T1AC. And then over here on the right side, we have T1AC. So it just kind of adds a little bit of detail there to the aircraft. Makes it look a little bit more unique and stuff, having that tail number and writing on the back of it. Anyways, though, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number six. And with that, let's move on to layer number, or sorry, layer number eight. And with that, let's move on to layer number nine. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer. We're going ahead and moving into layer number nine. For layer nine, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our green carpet and we're going to place down a row of three like this or sorry, row four. Then we're gonna place down another row four like that. Then we wanna place down two dark oak with trap doors, a green carpet, a green carpet on the front, three dark oak with trap doors, and then three dark oak with trap doors there to go ahead and make the wing. And that's all we have there for that. And you'll take that obviously on both sides and your wings are complete. 
On the tail here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oakwood upside down stair on top of this green terracotta block. And we're going to go ahead and go forward from it with three green terracotta blocks like that. And then a dark oakwood button on both sides of this block here. And with that, that is going to basically complete everything we have there uh, for layer 9. Pretty simple stuff. And with that, we'll move into our last final layers. Moving into our uh, last final layers here, uh, we have layers 10, 11, 12, and 13. We're going to go ahead and uh, start off by going ahead and going to our tail here. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, and then we're going to place down one, two, three green terracotta blocks, a dark oak wood mud on both sides of that middle block. Then we're going to go ahead and go up again with a mossy cobblestone wall, then two green terracotta blocks, and then a dark oak wood button on both sides, and then a narrow mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down two green terracotta blocks up again, green stained glass pane. And then we're going to go ahead and place down again two green terracotta blocks up, um, a dark oak wood button that's also going to be on both sides here, and then also on the forward block like this on the sides. We're going to go ahead and also place down a green stained glass pane on that leading edge, and then a dark oak wood trapdoor on the trailing edge like that on the back right there. And that right there is going to complete your vertical stabilizer, and with that, that's going to complete uh, what we have there for that. Uh, one thing I do want to go ahead and cover also is going to be how to make this banner, which is going to be on the side of the... Uh, vertical stabilizer in this section here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the necessary banner materials and I'll show you guys how to make it. Move it into our uh, banner here. It's really simple to make. You're just going to need a green banner, black dye, two white dye, and three green dye. We're going to place down our loom, go into it. We're going to place down our green banner and our white dye. We're going to go do the line that goes horizontally for the center of the banner like so, and then the line that goes vertically through the banner just like that for the center, and it creates this banner like so. We're going to place this into the loom along with our black dye. We're going to go then do a cross in it with black, and it's going to create this banner design here. We'll move that back into the loom there, and our green dye. We're going to do a line across the top of green dye, line across the bottom, and then we're going to place down a green border that goes all the way around to create a design that looks like this. We'll grab that banner, and that will create our design here. We'll place it on both sides of this green terracotta block, and boom, you have that all complete there. Anyway, so that's going to cover my final layers here for the build, and with that, that's going to wrap up my tutorial here for the Junkers, uh, Junkers JU287V1. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do use this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a side of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video, if this does or pretty social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your free user for your projects you guys are working on. Again, a big special thanks to my Patreon supporter, Derek Frost Westbrook, for making this tutorial possible, and as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link is always in my video descriptions. With that, though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Gary 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.